Greetings, God of Gold back again with another video, and I would safely say that this is probably going to be the final installment. I don't know for sure. I'm not 100% because, well, it depends on what you guys would want to see. Like, if there is more tutorials that maybe I can try to dab into, please leave a comment down below. If this video, I don't know, gets enough likes then yes, I might do a part 9. But like I said, it's up to you guys. But until then, I'm, this might be the final part of this new tutorial series. It's harder to keep up nowadays. I'm not going to drag on with information. I posted it in my community stuff, so feel free to see it. But let's get started, shall we? Now, loading screens. Loading screens is the stuff that you see upon entering a game. Mainly for Hearts of Iron, Crusader Kings, sometimes it's other games like Imperator Rome, Europa Universalis, etc. Now as you, well, that was a funny example, but basically there's a map on this loading screen to my mod, A Cold Steel World, which basically shows images that are in black and white and this loading screen is more or less the title screen depending on what you use that will also be um, for that like as you see we got people with rifles in the back I'm obviously in the nudger so you get to see what's been going on so far uh, but that's just a little example now how do you incorporate this well what we're going to do is we are going to do a test. This test involves in using another mod that is not yet uh, calibrated. Like we have uh, localizations, trying to set up, I guess, new focuses or something. This was basically the test mod that we've done before. So in this case, let's say we want to actually do loading screens. So you have to go to the main directory of your mod and you also have to make sure if you go into here that it's active so because this mod is active I have to disable it otherwise it will not work um, also keep an eye out for the version of the mod and it says here 1.15 no that needs to be uh, beefed up to 1.16 into um, the dot mod files and if you guys still don't know how to install a mod I have a tutorial or I might have a couple tutorials I don't know how old they are but basically they are on my channel for you to check out if you still don't know how to do it so I suggest go there before doing this part um, and then what we got is for GFX, under the GFX category within the main hub of your mod, this is where all the data, of course, is stored. You go to GFX, right click, and you want to create a new folder called loading screens. Now, of course, if you aren't sure what the file is named, and I have this as an example, you can do like a fast well, I did a fast link on my uh, quick bar. Then you go into the games directory files. It should be under your user, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then this game. You should be able to find it. Or unless if you have it somewhere else, depends on where you put it. Now, you go under GFX, and then you go to where it says loading screens. Now, of course, if the you're worried about any typos you can always just copy and paste the name anyway this is where the loading screens are going to be these are the generic loading screens that you get but if you really want to proof that you want to see this there's something you have to do you would have to go to if you don't have the DLC this may not work for you um, if you have no DLCs whatsoever if you don't have the latest or just none of them entirely you may just get generic ones so you can always do something like replace or something 
with the title or you can just go under DLC here and go to Graveyard of Empires because this is the latest update according to standards. And then what you're going to do is you're going to copy these and paste. Now you could um, put your own image in there and this is what I'm actually going to do but I would not recommend going outside of PNG for this one mainly because you it could have some problems. Uh, I would also recommend against using a certain format. I can't exactly uh, remember. Basically, when you save something, it has to be, try following this. If you're using like paint.net, for example, try to follow this linear format. Now, if you're still worried, I'm sure there's tutorials online that would also help with that department. But basically, this is what we're going to do. So what we're, we're going to do is we're going to say, you know, because we put the Irish focus tree beforehand, right? So what we're going to do is, why don't we just put the Irish flag on here? And doing so will give us some kind of idea that this is in fact working. Because keep in mind, this is the loading screen. Uh, you could expand on it, but keep in mind that I would still recommend using uh, clearer images, clearer, larger images, because if you did like what I just did, if you stretch them, the quality will tank. And that's something I do not recommend doing. So if you want to look for something that might fit this, I would say keep it to this kind of standard, or if you're even close to it, you could take a little liberty in stretching it but not too much you have to be very careful so let's try size here now for the sizes of these flags like this one's bigger and I think this one might actually just work because of the fact that it's more of a base color there's really not much to it now you're gonna save as that format and you can clearly see the DDS has changed and as long as it has the same name as the DLC or something like that, it should show up. It might be a different circumstance, could probably could because of what you might be doing or if you don't have DLCs, it all depends. But the key is go into loading screens, grab files, and just replace stuff. And that's pretty much it. And so, to have proof that this works for you and for whatever screen you're doing all you're going to do is make sure the mod's active i'm going to run this in nudger using my shortcut it might even come up here too it's random but it should also work for well primarily for the main menu so there's nothing that should block this of course these are just minor errors don't worry about those and there you have it there's your new loading screen now if you wanted to change stuff in between, pay very close attention because I will be using my mod as an example. Now, what you can do is in my in the descriptor and dot mod files, you have these called replace paths. Now, I would not recommend doing all of these unless if you really know what you're doing. So, please be warned. Um, I will only for the sake of this video, we'll encourage this one. GFX loading screens. What are GF? That's the path, as you saw. Because when you go into your folder, you say GFX loading screens. There they are. What this will do for the game is, based on like DLCs and stuff, like because these are all custom. These are all made by the team of A Cold Steel World, including myself. Therefore... It will replace base game's path of loading screens with these, like you just saw. If you are still not sure, here's an example. Say we had Toa, G-O-E. This is, of course, Graveyard of Empires. Of course, there's more DLCs for that. Um, you got Goterdamring. You know, all... All in nine yard when it comes to these. And if you're still not sure, this is how it works. And like I said, only replace path GFX loading screens. 
don't do everything else unless you truly know what you're doing because you will face thousands and thousands of bugs and it could crash your game and oh i forgot i <laughs> accidentally pressed the mod for the one that i just worked on but it's essentially the same like you see like the vanilla ones the vanilla ones that you saw previously so if i go into the vanilla game itself go into loading screens you can see there's the snipers as you just saw now if you want to go to your mod or if you want to try my mod of course my mod is also in the description down below if you guys are interested i'm sure that this little alternate history could be fun and then we got the actual one and there you have it granted some of them are blurrier than others some of them might look a little more stretched but that's because these were kind of temporary until i can find ones of better quality i'm still investigating this one is decent this one's okay but that's how it usually works for it uh well that's pretty much it for this video um also if you want to get any more updates on this mod a cold seal world please you know leave a comment down below check out my other videos uh, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope this helped you. Thank you for watching these tutorials. And I hope these helped you. And again, if you want to see more tutorials, if you want me to bring these out of retirement, please comment down below. If you don't comment down below, I'm not going to get much info. So have a good day. Got a gold out.